Usually, we don't think about the different types of men's personalities until they become essential to us. And this is typically the case as we get older. Knowing your personality type might make it easier for you to reach your goals in life. Most people agree that there are six types of male personalities. Their names come from the Greek alphabet. Every type has unique traits that set it apart from the others. The alpha male. So, what's an alpha male? This man has the following characteristics. Confidence. Confidence is one of the things that makes an alpha personality stand out. The idea of an alpha male coming from the animal world is that he is the leader of his group. To become one, it goes without saying that you need to feel good about yourself. But this is also something you get better at as you get older. It's not something you're born with. Sociability. From the meaning of alpha male, it's clear that alphas can easily connect with anyone. People like them because they are friendly and easy to talk to. So they can easily talk to anyone, no matter what gender or social rank they are. Leadership. As we've already said, an alpha is a clear leader. He is always in charge and hates being told what to do. People are eager to follow him and look up to him. He's happy to be in order and lead others. Charisma. The last thing that makes an alpha male an alpha male is his charisma. People want to meet and learn more about this man because he is charming and exciting. Perfect example. Donald Francis Draper, born Richard Dick Whitman, is one of the best examples of an alpha male archetype. Even though he is a fictional alpha character in the TV show Mad Men, he still has many typical traits of this type of man. The Beta Male Now that you understand what an alpha male is, let's talk about what a beta male is. This type of person is underrated. Here are some of his qualities. Friendliness A friendly personality is the first thing that comes to mind when they think of a beta male. Beta males show respect for other people. They never try to fool other people. Reservation Many people think betas are shy and lack confidence, but this is only sometimes the main reason they don't want to talk or talk to anyone. Beta men are scared and don't try to change people's minds by making them agree. Submissiveness. The main difference between an alpha male and a beta male is that betas don't mind being submissive, while alphas like to be in charge. This is often shown by the fact that beta males don't want to argue with people, even if they are wrong. But this is not a weakness. Sometimes the best way to win a fight is not to start it. Loyalty. Regarding the meaning of beta male, loyalty is one of the essential traits. This is why a beta is a good business partner, friend, and worker. Example. You know this character with a beta personality type pretty well. Chandler M. Bing, which stands for Muriel. His charm and sense of humor, which Matthew Perry plays so well, can't help but make people like him. The next type is the gamma male who takes the best parts of all the other types. Besides that, he has the following traits. Adventurousness. Gammas don't care what other people think, which gives them the freedom to do what they want. Because of this, Gammas' lives seem to be complete. These guys have exciting hobbies that they keep improving on. Eagerness. The Gamma is eager to try new things, whether they are hobbies, skills, or even jobs. But because he has this trait, he also wants people to like him. But this doesn't always lead to a relationship of dependence. Awareness. Gamma males do everything on purpose, which means they are always aware of the effects of what they do. This is what makes them different from the other types of men. Some people even think that alphas become gammas when they become more aware. Empathy. Men are often blamed for not being clear, but the gamma male is not like this. He isn't afraid to help anyone who needs it, which makes it easy for him to win people over. A good example, Bruce Banner, a Marvel character, has some traits of a gamma male archetype. Edward Norton and Mark Ruffalo were both great in the role. If you don't know the name, you might be more familiar with the Hulk. The Omega Male. Here are the things that make Omega males stand out. Self-assurance. Omegas don't need their mate's approval because they are sure of themselves. They don't compete for popularity because they don't think it's worth it. But this doesn't mean they don't have any friends. They choose the best over the most. Drivenness. Omega males have a lot of energy inside of them that keeps them going. They don't need anyone to cheer them or get them going because they can do those things independently. They are their motivation, which makes it easy for them to reach a goal. Intelligence. Some people call an Omega male a nerd, 
But that doesn't change the fact that he is brilliant. A complicated formula or algorithm seems easy to him, and this quality affects his next benefit directly. Diverse interests. Since Omegas are so eager to learn, they have many different interests, so it's easy for them to keep a conversation going. Also, their hobbies and interests have nothing to do with other people's thoughts, so they can pick up any hobby they want, even if it could be more popular. A good example. Sherlock Holmes is an excellent example of an Omega male, which is the most brilliant personality type. Almost no one hasn't been amazed by how well he can figure things out. The Delta male. If you are a Delta, you already have a different personality type. So your most important traits are resignation. A Delta male can handle problems with a straight face because he has been through many tough times. But he also becomes shyer, meaning it may take him longer to get along with and trust new people. Resentfulness. Because of what he has been through, Delta may hold a grudge and think other people are to blame for things that have gone wrong in his life. People he didn't get along with well in the past bother him so much that it can become an obsession. Self-sabotage. Because of the above trait, Delta doesn't want to deal with his problems. Instead, he tries to blame someone else. So he hurts himself because he thinks he can't change the situation. Loneliness. It's not surprising that Deltas might feel lonely, especially if they were communicative and friendly in their previous personality type. Delta males are getting increasingly angry over time, making the situation even worse. A good example. The crime shows Dexter has caused a lot of buzz in the movie business, and it's easy to see why. But the main character, Dexter Morgan, played by Michael C. Hall, is also a big reason why the show is so popular. The Sigma Male. The easiest way to describe a Sigma male would be as an alpha introvert. They also have all the qualities of a natural leader, but if they want to get to the top of the hierarchy, they do it more gently, cunningness. When you're around Sigma men, you should never let your guard down because it doesn't take much for them to trick you into getting what they want. They don't need to use power like alphas because they are intelligent and sly. Self-confidence. Self-confidence is one of the best things about a Sigma male, so we can't discuss him without mentioning it. The Sigma male doesn't need others to tell him he's good because he knows his worth. Likeability. Finding someone who doesn't like a Sigma male would take a lot of time and work. He knows how to play with your feelings and has a charming personality, so it's easy for you to like him. Prudence. If you think a Sigma man acts on impulse, we're here to show you that you're wrong. This is not what it means to be a Sigma male. All of his choices and moves are well thought out. So if you think you know his secret, it's only because he let it slip. A good example. There aren't many movies about Sigma males, but we can think of one good one. Tyler Durden from Fight Club has traits that are typical of Sigma males. He doesn't want to be part of the hierarchy and doesn't even like the idea. Well, that is it. Knowing the different types of men's personalities can significantly help you. You will not only learn your strengths and weaknesses, but you will also find it easier to talk to and convince other people. Comment down below, which personality type are you? If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.